Hi, it's Richard at Orange Campers. I thought I'd do a quick video to show you our latest uh, high top stock van for sale. And uh, we've done a few of these high tops now. Beautiful looking van and I think you'll agree this colour is one of my favourites. Uh, really nice dark metallic uh, grey. And uh, as you can see the van, beautiful little van. And uh, again, under 5 metres. It's a 4.97 short wheelbase. Not much in it between this and the VW, or the Transit Custom virtually the same. Fits in one parking space. As you can see, it's got uh, all the usual Trevay classic uh, logos and things, uh, stickers. On this side, um, we've got the water filler. We've got the fresh and waste drain taps down at the bottom there. And as you can see, as always, double glazed windows, which are uh, really great for keeping uh, much warmer. Mist free, we don't get any condensation on. Uh, really nice feature on these vans. Same again on the back doors, double glazed windows. We've got um, the 360 hinges on this van as well. So these back doors open not just to this position, uh, whereas normal vans will open to there, but these are 360 doors and they'll spin right round to the back. So it really opens your van up and uh, gives you a lot of space. So they're a really nice extra on these vans. Um, we've got the factory reverse camera built in to the dash and that comes up as well on the roof we've got a 120 watt solar panel and uh, on a day like today it's really putting a big charge in your batteries and uh, you notice at the back on the bumper parking sensors as well so you've got everything really what you need to make it a real easy parkable drivable vehicle uh, notice at the back here we've got the outside shower so uh, great for going to the beach dogs walking things like that and again on this side we've got a three meter Fiamma wind out f45 in black i think it really suits it in black on this van and uh, like i said most vans this size are 2.6 but we squeeze a three meter on this and it really comes out to a good distance it is a great shelter and uh, because the van's a little bit taller on these fiats you get much more head height so if you're a tall uh, person then usually most roofs even with your awning out, you stood under the awning and you're banging your head. But this one's got such a big clearance. It really works well for if you're that bit taller. And uh, let's go inside. As you can see, it's got the electric step on this one. Beautiful wide electric step. Not one of these short ones. You can really get your feet on there. I and mean, as we go into the van, um, you can see straight away the amount of space a high top gives you is tremendous. It really is. Beautiful colour scheme. Nice light, airy colour scheme. Uh, white gloss on the kitchen and then we've got a nice metallic light blue on the uh, rear cupboards and so on and uh, the main difference between the pop top and the high top because the pop top's exactly the same as this from this distance down so from the head down or neck down should I say it's exactly the same van the layout's identical it's just in the pop top we got all this extra height um, and all this extra cupboards so we got loads of cupboards in here and lovely big cupboards and they all work really really well um, you get a lot more height than the uh, the factory high top that's a great front locker for bedding and things like that but if you notice a factory high top if it was an a, uh, l1 h2 your roof would be just about six foot you can just get in but you can see the distance this one is it's a good seven foot in here it's incredible and on this one we've put in a, a large uh, hecky in there as well so that's a midi hecky and it's got some uh, lovely features, got blackout blind and it's got the fly nets as well. This one's colour moulded, uh, it's a grey one for the outside so it matches, it looks much nicer than white. You can set this in different positions, you can lock it in as well so you can travel with some fresh air in. But as you see, it gives you so much, uh, it's like, um, you know, the outside in because it's, it's not just your small standard roof vent, it's a really generous roof vent. Uh, at the back there we've got the bed so we've got a child's bed which literally just pulls out and you can simply just pull this down and you can a lot of people use it for storage before pull it all the way we have a lot of customers fasten it into that position and uh, they'll use it for storage we can put your little cargo net on here as well if you want to use it more for storage because don't forget when you stand up you've got low z height but you stand forward so you, you never hit your head on that even in that position but if you want to use it as a kid's bed, simply carry on pulling it out and um, it gives you a nice little kid's bed up there, you know. So, uh, 
just another little option it's not massively high up there but like i say if you've got kids and you want to set your grandkids or or your kids then uh, that's a really nice little feature and it stows away really neatly it's no no effort in getting it out or so on you know so uh, a really nice feature as always in the travail we've got really lovely big deep cupboards and uh, you can get a full-size dinner plate in this cupboard so that's a nice feature lots of lighting lots of cupboard space as well so we've got two wardrobes in the travail one at the front one at the back and there's extra storage down here there's a little lift out uh, section there where you can get to the bottom of the cupboard which um, runs all the way from front to back and then again just loads of little extra little bits gas taps in there you've got a nice big uh, food cupboard there and a lot of our customers swap that out for a microwave or a gas grill so you can have either option and then you've got a nice uh, pull out deep pan drawer underneath uh, over of a sink you've got a classic sort of two burners and sink combination unit you've got a nice cutlery drawer there and we do a little, uh, I don't know if you've seen previous videos, we do a little occasional table where you can just sit that in if you just want that little bit extra pan space. Our 90 litre fridge, what we use, it's vast fridge, nice freezer compartment. It's a really good fridge. And like I say, 90 litres, nearly double the size of most small van fridges. Um, underneath the bed, we've got extra storage in there. So in lots of storage, and in this one, this is where we keep the port and loo. So uh, what we do is we slide that out at night time and there's plenty of room to get in your fridge, use your loo, even put your table up and have your lunch or your, uh, your, your supper or your breakfast, even while the bed's made. Let me, let me show you how to do the bed, very quick and easy. These are rib beds, 130 centimetres wide, uh, fully crash tested, two isofix. This is a triple bed and you simply pull that lever and it folds over and if you notice on the back of here, you've got a nice comfy mattress where you can sit on it. And obviously this is part of your bed so you can sit in here, take all your weight. And uh, if you put a table in this position, then four people can sit around the table or five people and you can all have a, a meal together or play cards or whatever. And then uh, this section here just folds down, pull that lever, that goes down to the bottom and you can either have that fully flat or... Um, or you can sit up in bed and you can as you can see we have a topper so we put a, a mattress topper on here fitted sheet quilt and it's like being at home it really is a you know a double bed so it's a great size you notice the table storage is there as well so uh, everything in small vans has got to be really cleverly thought out so you've got to use every inch of space possible and um what we've got here is a little table, well, a big family table. And um, I always, we always put little straps everywhere because there's no rattles in our vans. Really, I really, I can't stand rattles. So I always make every effort to make the van as quiet as possible. So um, you simply pull these brackets out. And like I say, uh, it's got an adjustable leg on. So you can set that to where you want. And uh, if you're wanting more cooking space, more prep area, then that in that position, the table work, works really well. But again, you can sit at your front chairs um, and um, you can eat there. You can pull your both chairs to the table. Both chair, that will spin round. You just have to move it forward for a steering wheel. And uh, so you can sit there. Or you can move the table over here. So um, if you want to be more traditional, uh, we put it there for the kids when uh, we even leave it up when we're driving to be truthful and uh, let them play games and so on but um, the table works really well as a little clip folds away and then like I say it just stores away over there nice and neat uh, down this side as well we've got a uh, wireless phone charger little things like that so uh, they make all the difference and uh, in all our vans we have a purpose-made wiring harness and system put in. So we have a, uh, a, a factory-made wiring harness. It's fully tested and approved at the, uh, uh, the manufacturers. And everything comes, it's plug and play. So everything's really top-notch on these vans. Like I said, we've got nice big lights everywhere. Independent lights, things like that. So you can turn which one's off. And you've got extra lights down there and so on. Uh, your gas heating. 
So this one uh, has got gas blow air heating, which is just down there on the floor. And that's what this control is. You've got a gas tank underneath the van, a big uh, 25, 30 litre gas tank. And um, you fill up with LPG at the petrol station. So that gives you a massive amount of gas, very cheap to run once the system's been installed. And uh, it keeps it nice and safe. There's no bottles in your van taking up valuable space. And then, like I say, next to it, we've got Propex Eater, which blows out there. You can have a diesel option if you wish, if you're worried about gas, but um, I always find gas just as nice. Uh, and then, like I say, down on the outside of the van, next to the step, we've got the gas barbecue point as well. So because you've got a big gas tank on, you can uh, just clip in any gas barbecue. We have a Kadak, what we stand outside. We do all the cooking under the awning. It's tremendous, you know, and we really do cook when we go away. So... Um, you know these vans are really useful not just uh, to sleep in and so on and uh, we go away for weeks at a time you know we've done a couple of weeks three weeks in these vans this size with four of us you know so um, um, you know people say oh I don't know you're managing a small van but we've got to blow uh, an inflatable drive away awning and um, with the aid of a drive away awning you can put all your gear your bikes your chairs in there and then just go out for a day in your van uh, around the back of the van, if you notice, we've got lots of storage space, uh, extra wardrobe there at the back, some loads of shelves, cupboards, and uh, the good generous boot space. A nice long tall cupboard there, so that goes right to the front of the van for any longer uh, objects. And then um, you've got your coat hooks, that's your winding handle for your uh, awning. And then on this side, we've got the, uh, the fuse box, all nice and easy accessible. Uh, so many times, a lot of companies will put these in the wardrobe. And if you've got all your gear in the wardrobe, the fuse goes, you've got to take everything out just to get to a fuse. So we make it nice and accessible. Um, it's just our vast years of experience, you know, and because we constantly use our camper vans, we know what works well. So we pass that information and that, uh, that usefulness off and onto yourselves. Uh, this also sits down as well, so you can sit at the back of a van, which is a lovely thing. This is where all your moody teenagers go, and uh, they can uh, sit with a light on. They've got a USB, and um, even on a wet day with these doors shut, your feet up. This is where my boys have uh, sort of a space to climb over here, and it just gives you that flexibility of having really useful spaces in a, such a small van. It's ideal. It really does work well. But if it's just a storage, you can store underneath and then without squashing anything, you can store on top as well. So it really works well. Great boot space there. So um, that's about it of this van. And uh, like I say, this one is in stock. It is ready to go for summer. We're going to be at the Malvern show this weekend. And um, uh, come and see us if you want to uh, have a look at or test drive in this van and um, let's see if I can get the price right on this one I think it's 65495 so just shy of 65500 and um, that comes with a three year warranty from ourselves uh, for anything in the conversion and like I say and I do mean everything you know we have customers phone me from Spain how does this work how does that work I forgot you know, I always, you know, we're always there to help. We don't just sell your van and leave you. You really are part of a family. And um, like I say, you get the, the uh, warranty. You join the uh, owner's face group on me's and so on. We have a, a members club and we have yearly meets and so on. So it really is a nice experience. Like I say, we don't just sell your van and leave you on your own. So um, uh, if you like what you see, uh, find us on YouTube, like and subscribe or come and see us at one of the shows.